Welcome back to Exotic Industries. I have now some centrifuges here. And they will get more. I guess the stack size might be 50. And I will take that with me. Sadly, I can't grab that from afar, but I will just go up there. And I might take the car with me. I also wanted to bend around, maybe have the bus go up and then around there. But I guess this is a story for another day. Today I will just try to build this uranium processing. And then I need to see what to do with the products, or maybe I will do something else entirely afterwards, because this might take a while. Is this uranium? Yes. I wonder why that is on the bus, I guess. Maybe it's only temporarily on the bus, because this item isn't really used much otherwise. I don't really want to keep things on the bus that are only used in one specific process. So this is called Uranium Chunk. And that one specifically is only used in crushed uranium. The crushed uranium is... only used in crushed purified uranium. The crushed purified uranium is only used in uranium hexafluoride. And that is, I guess, only used in uranium 235 and 238 as well. Just the chances are very low for 235. And I get a lot of uranium hexafluoride back, so I need to make sure that not too much of this is produced. Because it also flows back. I guess I need to sort of take this apart. And then maybe place this here of a pump, if I find it. I don't know if I have pumps, I should have pumps. Now that's a pump jack. Not sure if I'm automatically producing these kinds of pumps. If not, I should start doing that. So I will now gather some steel beams or should I just automate that right away? Engine unit, pipe and steel beam. Don't really know if I want to build anything close by or if this particular thing does not need to extend any more to the right. But I might just as well build the pump sort of around here somewhere, because there are already steel beams. I guess I will also find engine units and pipes. Not sure where exactly, but I guess I might just build the factory here. So pipe and engine unit is still needed. I will just ask with factory search where the nearest pipes might be. So it is on the bus there. I guess I'll just fetch it from there. And engine units should also be on there somewhere. There. So I will just normally get this from the bus. 
I will not do any shenanigans with trying to get it from somewhere else. Okay, that's the pipes done. And now engine units should be similarly easy. Just need to think where exactly I will get this. And there I will also turn this around, sort of. So it goes backwards for a bit and then it goes down. I always need to switch what I'm using because I only have uh, red splitters and I only have yellow inserters at the moment but I can just grab some of the blue ones and maybe throw away some of the yellow ones or all of them. I guess three stacks should suffice for the moment. Then I might as well get a few more red underground belts. Maybe also some red belts. I guess I will try to only use red splitters when I can, and also I should grab some more. And I have these pumps now, but I still need to have an output chest. And limit this to one stack. Might also just at least replace one of these inserters each with a fast version. So this is some maintenance done, I guess. But I still want to throw some yellow belts away. Just so that my inventory is less full. I guess I should have or could have just thrown these uh, yellow belts into this chest. Anyway, I can now finally properly build this uranium processing. I guess this is quite close to the pipe. I wonder if the hitboxes are shown anywhere without debug mode. I don't really want to turn that on right now. Luckily I already have red wire, so I can tell this to only have uranium hexafluoride if, if the storage tank has less than 15,000, I guess. So that's quite a lot, so it can still work, but the centrifuges will also have to work for a while to make this happen. That's this process. I wonder whether this will work the way I intend it to work. So I will need some underground pipes. Probably like that. I guess for now that's fine. Uh, I'm still not using any beacons, I think. 
I'll just check whether I have beacons available soon. But of course, there's not any space for a beacon. And this doesn't accept productivity modules, I guess. Cannot reach them, but I think I can also not insert them there. I guess I checked that last time already. Possibly on this side I could also just do it much simpler. Maybe I should do that. Let's just replace all of this again. Except... Yeah, what I'm doing is sometimes quite silly. Not always choosing the best option right away. So how much does this take? 100? And then... Gives 99 back, that's quite a lot. So now I will have the underground pipes on this side with 4 as a gap. I will just look at beacons. Cooled beacon. Is there a hot beacon already? There's cooled beacon and compact beacon, I don't know. I guess I still have to do something to get the simulation computer age technology pack. At least I don't remember crafting that already. I wonder whether I actually was just working on power armor and stuff like that. And then I was distracted by having to do other things before that. Guess I will have to come back to that then. Maybe I needed uranium for that. There's even 233, I don't know what that is about. So 238. Fuel. Guess I also need to look at 235. Vision knowledge. So there's a bunch of stuff that I don't really know about at the moment. And I still need to figure out what to do with all of that. And I guess right there I could use underground belts. And then I can also properly place some power poles. Oops. Yeah, maybe this doesn't have the correct spacing to connect easily. And now I wonder what's up with this. Okay, the stone is full and I didn't yet get rid of that. And I don't have more stone uh, iron chests so i guess i'll just add a few more at the moment and then i will have to throw that somewhere that's why the uranium hexafluoride production stopped guess i should actually make this a tunnel to get through there potentially And then, I guess I will stop this there for now. And then have a few more chests. For the products. I guess this might take a while. So now I will think about where to get the stone. 
I wonder if there's any other stone line going backwards. Isn't there anything else that produces stone? Don't really see anything. Would be a shame if I just built a second line that isn't necessary. But yeah, I guess I could just try to integrate the stone there and then I don't have to use all these quarries. I guess I will get the stone down that way. Will take a while to get there. And right now I will make this blueprint again. Snap to grid relative. I will make this broader again and move this to one side. Maybe 11, no, 13. So it's centered. And then I will just go down. And it seems like I am going through this part of the factory, which is fine. For now, I can always just uh, go somewhere else with this belt if I need to. It would be worse if I actually built some kind of factory there that needs to be moved. A belt is much easier to move than a whole factory. Also, I will have repair packs on my hotbar. Also, because I might run into enemies at some point. Or maybe even more rocks. Okay, now I think I might just get through between these accumulator builds. Although maybe I should move to the left right now because this is already set up in a way that would accept more accumulators soon. And maybe before I go all the way to the left I will need to get more red underground belts. Also I don't need to build too many underground belts actually. But now I will get some more anyway just in case. That should be enough. I will also balance this belt, as I could have done that earlier as well. Might also just balance it again. Also, was this really necessary? I don't think so. Let's actually do the underground belt trick to remove this again. And now I can go to the left, or drive to the left, take this one tree out. I guess this collides slightly, so I will move it by a bit.
And there we have the quarries. And it would certainly be nice for them not to have to work anymore. Who likes working anyway? So now I will not go anywhere, but just think about or look at simulation data. In a moment, I will uh, first just do this. Get rid of the stone that I already have in my inventory. Okay, now I want to look at simulation data. I think that's the stuff that I'm already producing. I guess I'm already using this small simulation chamber for that. And then I need to look at ingredient in simulation computer edge technology pack. So I need ammonia gas. And I think the other things should be available to me. How do I get ammonia? gas, hydrogen gas and nitrogen gas, that's just water being split up in a chemical plant, nitrogen gas is just gotten from an air filter, I guess I might try to produce air filters next. I also want to check if I have a chest production anywhere. Wouldn't want to always craft them manually. And sometimes it's just nice to get rid of stuff and put them in a chest. Not sure if I will need more centrifuges right now. This needs quite a lot of these energy crystals. So there is some of the uranium already, just three, and this hasn't gone back yet. I guess I will just feed this back at the bottom. So what can I do about the uranium mining? I don't think I can do quite a lot there. It's probably the most it can do at the moment. Maybe I need more uranium chunks. There are some. I don't really want to get too close to the biters there. Not sure how far south I can go. Might just try driving through there and checking how far the biters are. Didn't check the pollution in a while. That's still very fine. I'll just do some reconnaissance trip now. Also, this alien flower thing is interesting. I think I already tried to harvest this, but it's probably not harvestable. Or is it? Should I do that? I'm not sure. I will not do anything with that yet. Because I don't know if I might need it there. Probably not. Maybe it's just a resource that I need once or a few times, and then I can do something with that. So I will try to be very 
zoomed out, so I might collide with things. But then I can see biters more easily and maybe get away from them quicker. It's also difficult because of the menu or the hotbar down there. That makes me not see much in this direction. Alien beacon. Is this a thing that I have seen yet? I wonder what would happen if I did anything there. I got an alien beacon. Okay, I can take these alien flowers. I'm not sure what that does. They are individual stacks. I hope that doesn't fill up my inventory completely. There are some biters. That's just trees. There are copper patches. Coal or lead? That's coal. And that is a slightly bigger alien beacon. Seems to be turned on. I'm not sure what will happen if I go there. So it has quite a lot of module slots. Ouch. I didn't think that would happen. Let's just drive backwards for a while. And then I want to try to get to my defenses as soon as possible. My pulse increased by a lot. I didn't save before this. At least I get the alien beacon in my inventory. And I hope the biters don't go anywhere where they might destroy things. Maybe I need to find some of these defenses and place them at certain points. I mean, there is a little point where they might get through. I guess I had more turrets available. And I should take some of that ammunition. So, uh, just so you know, don't just take these alien beacons away. I mean, now I need to, now that I'm a bit safer, I should space them out a bit just to have all this potential border defended. So they might still get through there. So I will try to defend this as well. But I feel a bit safer behind these turrets now. I hope they don't run that way. They seem to be 
bound there, but that is just because I don't see anything beyond that place or in the dark. But that's it for now. Thank you for watching.